guys, it's Carissa. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this eye look and I am in love with it. It is a pinky, purpley, smoky, coppery, browny, smoky eye. Nice color explanation, hey. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I show you actually what it looks like on blue eyes as well, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to check that out. And I also show you a second lip option. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. If you have the Dark Rose palette from BH, dig it out because this is what we're using. And I hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. First off, I'm starting with a eye primer and I'm using the Urban Decay Pi Primer Potion. <laughs> primer Potion. We're already off to a good start. <laughs> So for today's look, I'm using the Dark Rose palette from BH Cosmetics, and I got this probably a month and a half ago, and I've been really enjoying it because it does have some cool colors. So today I'm going to stick with, I believe, these three tones in here. Oh, sorry, you can't see. These three tones in here. And I'm going to stick with a blush from here as well. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. So that's actually the first thing that I will do is take this blush right here and onto a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to apply that into my crease. And I'm keeping the color very rounded as you can see. That's the shape that I'm going for rather than dragging the color out into more of a winged or um, blown out type look. I just want it to be very rounded. And I am dragging the color up just slightly above my crease and I also am making sure that I have it on um, the inner portion what is this even called in here? <laughs> that portion of my eye. It doesn't matter if it gets a little bit onto your crease because we are going to be laying another color completely over top of it. So if you're a little bit messy, don't worry about it. Okay, so the next color that I'm after is this one right here. And it's like a dark, maroony, plummy, really pretty color. And I'm taking that onto the exact same brush. And a tip if you're using the same brush for stuff like this, do you see how on this one the pink goes a little bit lower? When I dab my brush into this darker color, I'm just going to dab literally the exact tip. So, can you see where it goes? The color doesn't actually go all the way around the side of the brush, it just stays on the very tip and that keeps it really precise. So when you do place it into your crease area, you have a lot more precision of where that color is going. So make sure you do press a little bit lighter, so it's just the very tip touching, and continue to sweep that through your crease. So after I have a really pretty and rounded color, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and some Fix Plus, and I'm just about out of this. Uh-oh. And I'm going to spray my brush and get it a little bit wet. And next I'm going to pick up this color right here. And I was originally scared to use this color because I was like, it kind of looks like an olivey, greeny, khaki, metallic color, but it turns out into the prettiest goldy, bronzy color. Let me show you. I totally was surprised by this. I, it just goes to show like there's so many colors that you see in the pan that you're like, I'm not really too sure about that. And then you try it and you're like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Packing it onto my lid and then I'm going to turn the brush over and pick up this peachy pink color right here. And I'm going to blend that into the color that we just laid down. Once you get it how you like it, don't forget to go back in with your original blending brush and very gently blend the edges out. And if you have lost any intensity, do go back into that purpley plummy color on the tip of your brush and just run a little bit through the crease again. And that really is the trick to getting a good gradient for your smoky eye is to continually layer and layer and layer, but to start with a lighter color. So starting with that dusky pinky rose color acts as a transition color. It just helps everything blend out better. It helps everything just mesh better together. So make sure you do start with lighter colors when you are doing any type of smoky eye and then work your way to the darker because you can always build up. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sitting there for an extra two minutes and building the color rather than being like, oh crap, it is really dark, what do I do, you know? Once everything is all blended and nice, I'm going into that dark plum color again onto a smaller little blending E36 brush from Sigma. And I am going to drag that down and underneath my eye just to make it nice and smoky. I'm going to use a smaller brush like this to place the color, then I'll use a larger blending brush to diffuse the color around the edges. 
But first I just want to make sure that I pack it on pretty strong just around my lower lash line area. <laughs> I'm also dipping my brush into that goldy khaki whatever that color is that we used on the lid and I'm going to just in the center um, pull a little bit of it just through um, just slightly underneath where I put that purple. I'm not doing this in a very big area but just very very slightly underneath the very center of my eye. Finally I'm going in just with a little precision brush and picking up some of that peachy color right here and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my tear duct. Someone came to say hello. Hi. Hello. Can you tell everybody how sleepy you are? Got my hair on your nose. I'm also applying the Sweet Talker Lashes from Socialize. I love these ones. They are super PC and pretty and just add a great amount of just little bits of length where you need it. So here is a handy tip if you use tweezers to apply your lashes. Once the glue is like basically dry, take the tweezers and not only pinch them, but pinch and then slightly rotate it upwards just so that the lash kind of pushes backwards and sits up a little bit more on your eye. It just makes your lashes um, sit upwards and look really, really big. If for whatever reason there is a gap between your lashes and the false lashes or you put too much glue on the lashes and you need to cover that up, you can take a black eyeliner and I'm taking the BH liquid eyeliner and I'll be applying that just over any spots that I kind of need it along my lash line just to darken it up and make sure it's all uniform. I've taken to holding a brush along um, my under eye area when I like pull my eye out just because I find that it leaves less of a mark than my finger does. And I've been doing it a couple times and it's been working really well. So another tip for you. So I put on my concealer in a triangular type shape and I'm using a beauty blender to blend it out. To set everything in place, I'm using my BH Studio Pro Powder and I have this in the shade 230. I love using this with Estee Lauder Double Wear. I feel like this and that are like the ultimate pair for keeping your makeup on. That's what I was wearing basically the entire time that I was in Thailand. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna use a blush brush just so I get Ouch, sorry, I have like a hair in my nose. <laughs> so I get a little bit more of a precise placement because I'm only going to put it in the center of my forehead, down my nose, and setting this area, and my chin and around my mouth area. I also really like this powder because it does give a little bit of coverage, and especially when I do have my rash around my nose, it really, really is perfect for like the final step of just covering that redness. I'm taking bronzer on a tulip brush and just bronzing my face. Ooh, getting my hair out of the way first, apparently. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and my NARS little Ida brush, ITA, Ida. My NARS brush that is flat. <laughs> and I'm taking the um, middle shade here and I'm going to do a little light contour under my cheek. I'm also going to take that down the sides of my nose just to contour that just a little bit and a little bit underneath my lip. Taking a little tapered highlighter brush I'm picking up the yellow, I think it's called banana powder shade and I will be pressing that underneath my eyes to set the concealer in. And I'm also setting up and over here just to continue the lightness in the straight kind of swoop backwards. One foul swoop. For blush, I'm going back into the Dark Rose palette and using the blush color that I actually used in my crease just to stick with a similar color story. It was that one right there. Ooh, that's a nice little brush hair. I really love this color. I just think it is so pretty and it would be so flattering on tons of different skin tones. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> for a highlight, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle because I feel like this would just suit it the best. And I was going to apply a fan brush, but I can't find one. So I'm going back into the brush that I used for setting my under eyes and I'll be using that one. So picking up some product and distributing it. Oh, I love it! On the tops of my cheekbones. And I will actually drag that underneath um, my brows as well because I didn't do a brow highlight. Oh, it's just such a good highlight. Okay, so let's move on to lips. I'm going to show you two different options. Um, you can always do a classic nude or you could do a really, really pretty berry color. So I'll show you the nude first just because it's easier to go from lighter to darker. So hold your horses. I'm going to be using a combination of the BH Color Tea Time and the Gerard Cosmetics Color Shimmer of Hope. Such a pretty pinky color. You really could just leave it with a pink lip instead of putting like a nude gloss. Um, do whatever you want to do. But this is what it looks like with a pink lip, and then this is what it looks like with that gloss over top. I guess it's not necessarily as nude as I had envisioned. <laughs> Definitely more pink. Okay, so here it is with the pink lip that I had really thought would turn out more nude than pink. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is what darker lip and brown eye combo looks like. And here is the look with blue eyes and the darker lip. So this is my finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something new or took something out of it. I really, really like how this turned out and I think it'll work great on blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you how it looked on blue eyes versus brown eyes. So please let me know if you enjoyed seeing the two different eye colors with this look as well as the two different lip colors. Um, I think that's everything. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button because it helps my videos grow. If you'd like to find the palette that I was using, I'll link the link down below. It is again the Dark Rose palette from BH Cosmetics. really like BH Cosmetics. It is inexpensive and they have really great quality stuff. So check it out if you haven't already. And I think that is everything. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and lots of love to you. Bye.